conversation concerning are you going to live for God when you go home? Will what you've experienced here suddenly change when you step in to the life that you came from last week? My response is, I really hope not. I hope that God has done enough this week in you to reshape you and make you someone that is going to be on a search rescue for God. But how many people know you can't help others unless you're safe yourself? I did diving once and um, a sub-aqua diving <clears throat> and I was training and I enjoyed that for a time in my life. And they always taught us that if the person with you began to drown and they began to freak out, you had to make sure that you were safe so that you had the strength to bring them to safety. And do you know what they taught us? They said, if a person's freaking out in the water, flipping out, you just got to go ahead and punch them in the face. I thought that was kind of cool. And then I was told afterwards, but they've got to be freaking out first. You couldn't just go up to them, punch them in the face. How's your day going? But the reason you punched them in the face was to calm them down because if you tried to rescue them, And they were panicking and you weren't on a boat or somewhere safe. They had the potential to pull you down, which means they'd lose their life, but they'd also take yours as well. That's why you punched them in the face. Now, I don't want to send you back into your world with the Great Commission, go punch them in the face. That's not what I'm saying. I just want to clarify that because some people don't hear the whole message. They just run with a partial bit. I'm not saying go ye into the world Punch him in the face. <laughs> the point of my message is, make sure you're in a point of strength in God. And then you can go on a search rescue to help others that need God. Now, for you to be in strength with God, you've got to determine that what God's done in you this week or this far in your life is a non-negotiable, you belong to him. Be the 